Hello, everybody. Welcome Mute. to an episode of Crime Land. I have with me today News No Enemy. Who hey, also everybody. Happens to be my brother. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. I see you're using the Xenocam, which means you have dogs in the background. Doggies in the background is always a good thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you donate while we're on air, air, the dogs get milk bones. We have them right over here. They're ready. Don't forget to do that. There's a little QR code up in the corner, and I will also put the little thingy on the screen right now. If I remember which buttons to click in the correct order. There they are. Anyway, let's say hello to everybody who's here. Arvolt, good to see you. News Now Enemies here and also in my house. So great, Parsons. I got I multiple personalities. <laughs> he does. It's not even a joke. Um, I should probably turn the ringer off on my phone, huh? That have been that have been a professional thing to do before we started. Person, what's going on, buddy? Number two is in the chat. Right. Number two is in the chat. Number two is the shit. She is. Erica, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Lisa White, good to see you. I guess we're just going to roll right into it. Christo, good to see you. Oh, yeah, there's Christo. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, so we're doing an episode of Crime Land today, which means we're going to do some quick fire news stories and we're just going to live react to them. So that's fun. We'll get started with this story about a high school coach. Coach has been indicted in an alleged drug trafficking ring. And as CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, many parents in the Nassau County community, they're standing by him. The Malvern Mules are just starting their high school football season, but much talk at Thursday's game was about their longtime coach. 49 year old Keto Lockwood was indicted Thursday in a narcotics trafficking ring that the Nassau County District Attorney alleges was operating along Long Island's South Shore. When we hear stuff like that, it's, it's again, it's concerning. 12 people were indicted in the alleged ring. Prosecutors claim their nine month investigation uncovered cocaine, crack, and fentanyl, wow. some of which were hidden in a trap disguised as a microwave as well as firearms, including a ghost gun and assault weapon. Lockwood was not with charged kids. with conspiracy. It cracks me up. Like, they just call everything a ghost gun these days. Like, a ghost gun used to be a gun that was, like, manufactured with one of those 3D printers, and then it just turned into any gun that doesn't have a serial number on it. So it's kind of like they've changed the they meaning. They change the rules all the time. They They're changed the meaning of flash mob, flash mob recently, too. Now a flash mob is, like, when a bunch of people enter a store and grab a bunch of merchandise and leave and a flash mob used to be like you know when people would do a choreographed dance in public out of the blue it's not that anymore he as others were in the indictment he pled not guilty to three counts each of criminal possession of a firearm and criminal possession of a weapon outside here of him being a coach he's a role model for our kids Lockwood has been coaching Malvern High School football for 14 years. Said commentary on the world today that this happens even in a little village, happens in the city, it happens everywhere. Yes, the accusations are bad. However, I know without a shadow of a doubt that Keto Lockwood is innocent. In a statement, the school superintendent said in part, we do believe strongly in our judicial process and that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. He does a lot for these kids and always shows up. Always shows up, and that's important. So um, before we assume, we need to know the true facts. Others in the indictment could face up to life in prison, while Lockwood could face up to seven years. From Malvern, Long Island, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Wait, so he was just one of the pawns in, and he wasn't the main guy? I guess. I think it's kind of funny that their um, mascot is a mule, and he was probably hiring mules to bring the drugs over the border and stuff. Might have been one of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who's going to search in that costume? Yeah, who? not me. Definitely not me. Uh, yeah, people are like a ghost gun. A ghost ghost gun. gun is anything that's homemade. It, it used to be that. I have. Now it's just any gun that the serial numbers scratch off. Yeah, that's... Just making up new rules as we go along, I guess. Uh, so this is a security guard shot. Uh, do we want to watch this? Well, this is not going to... By the way, people, this does not stay on YouTube after the fact. If you want to watch the replays, go to Rumble Odyssey. 
D Live, I think it stays up for three days there. You can find it on Twitter. Hezekiah, what's up, buddy? Miss Mandy hugs. Uh, Hezekiah's here. Hezek, let me make this bigger. Turn this off. I don't know if you can see in the background on that top shelf right there. Have those little guys that you sent me hanging out. All right. Of course, just in case I got to take notes. Yeah. <laughs> My brother's prepared. All right. So this is a uh, fight breaks out uh, at a high school football game. So I guess we're sticking to the high school football. Do I go or stay? Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, that's Ooh. not punches. Those are gun shots. Yeah, they are. Security guard was rushed to the hospital where he remains in critical condition. Who shot him? One of the kids? Utica football. I can't read that fast. The Utica, Utica football shooting comes one week after a student was killed and an adult woman injured when a shooting broke out at a Louisiana high school football game are there a lot of shootings at high school football games apparently there are i never went to high school football games maybe this is why and one month after a 16 year old suffered the same deadly fate when he was struck by bullets that erupted from the stands during uh during an oklahoma football game i guess it does happen a lot yeah if your team loses shoot shoot the crowd on the other side is cheering for the All right, well, that was an awful story. I'm glad we covered that. Who sent that to me? Where's Horatius? I bet it was Horatius. <laughs> hey, Moose is here. Good to see you, Moose. Miss Mandy, good to see you, as always. All right, surveillance video at uh, MIA, which I think is Miami's airport, yeah. pretty sure. Miami um, International Airport. Yeah. Uh, captures two TSA officers accused of stealing from passengers. I bet this sort of crap happens all the stinking time and they're just like now catching it on surveillance because I've had stuff go missing out of my suitcase before. I know you don't travel um, I don't as fly. much as I do. I went on the, uh, what was it, on the, uh, just this past week? Yeah. The first time I'd been on a plane in 20 years. I don't trust those TSA people. I'm telling you what, I used to travel for work all the time. My last job, not my current job, my previous job. I used to have to fly to Florida all the time, out to California all the time, like several times a year, five or six times a year I was on an airplane. And I've had just random stuff go missing. And it's not even like expensive stuff or good stuff. It's just random stuff that doesn't show up on the other end. It's weird. All right. <clears throat> it's little stuff that who's going to complain and cause a big stink about this. Yeah, exactly. They're going to say, hey, it's missing, but they're going to move on and it ain't going to be followed up on. Who's behind you? Leia or Ava? Ava. Ava. Um, so Zena's on your floor. Okay, Zena's here too. It looks like Erica bought them a, a milk bone. So oh. let's do that real quick before we read about the TSA ripping us off. Did you hear that? Wake up. Wake up. Thank you very much for the milk bones. Oh, she. Heard, she oh yeah, heard. she heard the lid. You want to do that one? What are we gonna do for tricks? Uh, she does a shake. Sometimes she does a high five. You can do a high five, a shake. Oh, oh there, there it go. is. <laughs> there you go. Say thank you. All right, Zena, you're really the star of the show here. Come here, Zena. Yeah. Come here, Zena. Come here. Come, come here. Hey, come here. Say hi. Okay, Zena's the star of the show. We all know he's a but she's a better co-host than my brother over here. Here's your milk bone from Erica. There you go. Oh, we got one more here. Everybody gets oh, a milk bone. She's not going to snuck out. Leia. Leia. Leia's here too. She can have one. Here you go. Oh, look at that. You're taking that. Leia's here for another week. Yeah. She, Leia's taking the milk bone and out of here. Out of here. So that's what we do around here. If you decide that you want to buy a milk bone, buy me a coffee. I don't drink the coffee. I get the milk bones for the doggos instead. I brought my own coffee. So the yeah. doggies are upset. Yeah. Exactly. Um, all right. So Miami International Airport is where this was. Let's see what we, let's see what we see. Seven News at 530. 
7 News at 5.30 begins with some alarming arrests. TSA agents at a popular South Florida airport accused of stealing from passengers. Hello and good okay, evening. Okay, that An was right employee. out where, okay, did you guys see that? That's like right out where the people are going through security, where you're right there with your stuff. Anytime my stuff got taken, it was when I checked a bag. And it was like out of my sight, like away from me. I never have anything taken out of my carry on like that before. That's crazy. That's like right there in front of God and everybody. Mm -hmm. South Florida airport accused of stealing from passengers. Hello and good evening. An airport employee was following up on a complaint. That's when police say surveillance video revealed a sneaky steal. A couple of them. Simmons Alex Browning live at MIA with our top story, Alex. And Lynn, we told you guys about this arrest back in July, and now we have video of the two apparently caught in the act. And the video our viewers are about to watch may have them second guessing, leaving valuables here through the TSA checkpoint. New video released of alleged terminal thieves in the act. TSA agents Josu Gonzalez and okay. LaBerry. I if there's something about <laughs> there's something about mugshots. But they really make people look like criminals, don't they? Mm, they <laughs> like, do that on purpose. They really look they like criminals. They do that on purpose. These guys right here look very much crim like criminals to me. Grace Williams arrested over the summer, accused of working together to rip off passengers as they went through airport security at MIA's Terminal I've never seen a decent e. mugshot. I mean, it, okay, I, you're not on Twitter, are you? You're not. Um, there's a Twitter um like a Twitter handle or whatever mm -hmm. called mug short short shorties with a W shorties and it's all mug shots of like women who actually have good mug shot photos. It's pretty hilarious and they like list their crimes. It's it's pretty funny. Oh, I no highly doubt. I highly recommend if you have Twitter checking out mug shouties. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as selling Twitter just for that. The bag appearing to try and open the zipper. We pause the video to give you a better look. He then follows the bin down the conveyor belt. Moments later, he puts his hands in his pockets. Oh, wow. We showed the video to passengers traveling out of Terminal E. Not really something you're worried about when you're going through a secure checkpoint. No, no, I wouldn't expect that at all. And in another video, the duo side by side, their focus on this bin. You see Williams apparently rummaging through something, then his right hand slides into his jacket pocket. Prosecutors say the duo is responsible yeah, that's not for several ripoffs. Both men charged. Um, Arvold, I was telling them about the Twitter handle Mug Shouties. Um, if you want to link that, <laughs> I I know you, you follow them because everybody does. It's hilarious. With grand theft, court records show since Gonzalez made a deal with prosecutors for his charges to be dropped pending he meets certain requirements. As far as Williams, his case is still pending. If I do carry cash in my purse and it has to go through, you know, the TSA, so I'll definitely be a little bit more cognizant. And so we did reach out to the TSA to see if these two are still federal Keep employees. Your cash told on you. Pending. It'll go through the metal detector. Well, not only that, if you do have cash, put it inside of a zipper, inside of a zipper, inside of a zipper. So it's not just easily grabbed out of your purse. Yeah, our folks got it. Should we take a look at this Twitter? <laughs> Let me see. If you want to. It's your, it's your channel. See. It's funny. All right. There's, I don't know if I can, I can't click the link from here, <laughs> but that's it. If you have Twitter, I highly recommend. It's it's pretty funny. Ervolt for the win. Absolutely. Yeah, to guard your stuff when you're going through security, for sure, you wouldn't think that it's the security guards that you have to watch out for, but it's really anybody. You don't, yeah. when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling, you don't want to have your stuff just easily reachable just going through the airport the one time when your stuff slid down and then it's down at the other mm -hmm. end and the person's going through the bend next to it and i wait my stuff's down there mm -hmm. can i get through I, wait i gotta wait to go through but mm -hmm. my stuff's way down there by those people exactly exactly that yep this is why i highly recommend fanny packs fanny packs for the win <laughs> i know nobody likes fanny packs i've been a fan forever I'm bringing them back into style. 
I've seen them at like high end boutiques and stuff now. It's because I brought them back into style. I don't need a fanny pack. I have a trunk <laughs> and a car with good fuel mileage. <laughs> All right. Woman sent to prison after sadistically torturing friend's pet parrot to death. Okay, so when we that's, were... That's sad. When we first... When you first got... When we first got here. When you first got here, we were going through what we we're going to cover today. And I said, have you heard of this story? And you said no. And I said, good, you're going to live react to this because it is the most horrific story I've ever heard. The most horrific story. <clears throat> I'm going to read to you guys and then we'll play the video. I don't know what the video says. I saw this on another YouTube channel and I just couldn't believe it. I had to find the story so I could present it to you guys because people are evil, evil. <coughs> <coughs> I forgot. There's another mic right there. You yeah. totally hear me cough on that mic. Muting one of them just made it me look bad. <laughs> do anything. All right. A pair of women in the UK have been sentenced to months in prison for torturing and killing a friend's parrot after a night of drinking. Tracy Dixon, age 47, and no Nicola Bradley, Nicola probably is how it's pronounced, Bradley, age 35, were found guilty of sadistically torturing an African gray parrot named Sparky until the bird died, according to local reports. Uh, you together sad sadistically tortured and essentially killed Sparky. Carlisle I want to know, how do you torture a parrot? Oh, just wait, there's details. Okay. Uh, you together st sadistically tortured and essentially killed Sparky, Carlisle C Crown Court Judge Richard Archer told the women last month, according to uh, SWNS News. The way in which suffering was caused to that animal is shocking, he added. It involved spraying her with cleaning products. It involved dabbing paint on her. It involved hitting her with a tea towel, which is a hand towel in Great Britain, by the way. They have weird names for stuff sometimes. Uh, the incident reportedly unfolded in July of 2022 in the city of Carlisle. The two women were out drinking on the evening of July 20th, or yeah, July 30th, sorry, and Sparky's owner, identified as their friend, Paul Crooks, picked the women up and allowed them to stay as guests in his home. The women reportedly continued drinking uh, when they reached his house at about 5.30 a.m. while well, Crooks went to bed. He awoke hours later and found shaving cream had been sprayed all over Sparky's cage. Look at these two assholes. He reportedly instructed the women to leave the bird alone and then he left his house to go run errands because he wasn't out drinking all night. They were. He returned why, to the house. Why would he leave them home? I mean, they were his friends. Okay. Allegedly. He returned to the house later that day uh, to find the bird dead. And the women were wearing his clothing for some reason. Uh, Dixon and Bradley reportedly tortured the bird by covering her in furniture and metal polish, as well as uh, gloss paint, hit the animal with a towel. Look at this sweet baby bird. The pair was also accused of trying to feed Sparky to the dog and then throwing her in the dryer and turning on the dryer. So that's what they did to the bird. That's okay. how they tortured a bird to death. I, I can see that. Uh, I think months in jail is not appropriate sentence for that, personally. This video has nothing to do with the story. I love it when they do that. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I read it. So that's what these two did. So what do you think? Could you imagine? Like, imagine you have a dog named Homer. Imagine you invited you, you as a nice person. Your friends call and say, we're drunk at the bar. Can you pick us up? And you say, yeah, come back to my place. Sleep it off. And then you come home and they've done this to your pet. Months in jail. Is that appropriate? Well, the be devil's advocate. After they painted it, at least they threw it in the dryer so that way it wouldn't be wet. That's not good. <laughs> I, 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 it didn't smear, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, yeah. so that's you can understand that the paint went. Yeah, that would. That's not right to do too. I cannot. And and parrots are really smart. They are. They're not like these. 
dummies over here behind you. <laughs> <laughs> They're smarter than you think. Yeah, they know when to show up for bone time. Yeah, they know. They know when I'm sitting here with these lights on that they they just stay here very nicely because they're like, oh, somebody might buy us a milk bone. Speaking of, I think somebody just bought us a milk bone. Parsons, eleven twenty two bought the milk bone. So let's do that before Parsons, we get to the next. Thank you, buddy. Uh, because we just heard about a horrible death of a African gray parrot, which I think are endangered too, or like you know they're they're rare birds. They're, they they're the ones that talk, yeah. like, that actually can teach to 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 speak and stuff like that. Yeah, number two says they're smart as toddlers. Yeah, exactly. They're really smart birds. All right, do we have all three of them? We yeah. do. All three of them are. We're all three on the bed. Thank you very much, Parsons. <clears throat> News now, enemy. Okay. very hard not to just call you by your birth name you can it's <coughs> you call me my, my first name my middle name i can yeah. you call me by my last name because most people pronounce it hope with two p's yeah, exactly unless uh, they know about guns which earl warden doesn't because i guess not oh i forgot to make them big oh you didn't make them big sorry there they are there they there's are. the puppos the puppos they got their treats. Yeah, you inhaled it. You didn't even do yours, did you? Ava's the type of dog that, yeah, the middle one over there, she, if these other two don't eat their food immediately, she will like vacuum up all of the food. She ate three breakfasts the other day, three of them. She's a growing doggy. She's not, she's nine months old now. She's not growing that much anymore. Um. <laughs> <laughs> how much jim how much for you to eat one <laughs> you, you did it for a hundred i, I did a thousand i did it for a hundred one time i did it for a hundred dollar dono one time i'm not saying i would do that again but i would get him to do it for a hundred dollars <laughs> all right moving right along Actually, I need gas money. So, yeah, number two, if you gave me $100, I'd do it. <laughs> Everybody else is at least $150. At least. Number two gets a discount. Uh, murder suspect uh, from Ohio shot by Fayette County man defending his family during a home invasion. I love a happy ending. Um, if there was a home invasion here, same sort of stuff would definitely happen. Yeah, yeah. If they got past the dogs, it would probably be a I bad mean, day for them. That's all I'm saying. I, 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 I noticed you only got two backups. I mean, I think you, you're shooting. It has been getting better. Though. You're more accurate nowadays. The one in there has 15 plus one and the two backups each have 10. So I think that's plenty. All right. Anyway, moving right along. We're learning more about the suspect shot in a Fayette County home invasion. Deputies say the intruder was Michael James Brooks, a wanted murder oh, suspect. Oh, number two, He's from you're Columbus, not good Ohio. enough for her to Police donate. Police say that he killed a 77-year-old woman there last week and then made his way to Georgia. The home invasion happened just before 2 a.m. yesterday. Deputies said that the homeowner had a gun and confronted the intruder in the basement. They say Brooks had a knife. The homeowner warned the intruder before shooting him. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb says that the invasion appears to be random. He also says that the intruder tried to break into several homes in that neighborhood. Now to a lot. Uh, yeah, so I go down to my basement and there's somebody down there with a knife. You I brought the wrong, wrong weapon to this house. Well, I would warn them like this gentleman mm -hmm. did. the sound of gunfire oh. near a southwest atlanta record say you need to get out now or you're not you know you're gonna be swiss cheese basically um and if they didn't if they charged me with a knife heck yeah i would unload on them in my own home yes absolutely and i wouldn't want to go through the whole red tape of the court with the stand your ground and the castle doctrine and all that but i would if i had to mm -hmm. i would if i had to inside my house you're you're dropping yeah as as long as you and as long as you start bleeding inside my house, it doesn't matter how far you make it. Yeah, exactly. Is this Fayette the same County, story? where we just learned of a deadly overnight right. home invasion. This is the same. This is the same story. It's just a little more details on it. Sheriff tells Fox Five the homeowner was forced to shoot an intruder. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox Five News at Five. I'm Tom Haynes, and I'm Alex Whitler. Deputies say that person was a wanted murder suspect. Fox Five's Doug Evans has more on the story from Fayette County. 
I talk with Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb by telephone. Here's what we know about this home invasion. He says it happened just before 2 o'clock in a subdivision in the north end of the county. They say 911 got a call from a resident there about an intruder in his home. The man's alarm company at the same time was notifying 911 of a possible intruder. They say the homeowner armed himself and confronted the intruder in the basement. They say he warned him the man had a knife. He then fired a shot and hit him. They say the homeowner then went to the second floor of his house and took up a position at the he top of the staircase. Shot. He says that the intruder then came up the staircase. Oh. Here's what yeah. the sheriff tells me happened next. There he, he took yeah, his you come in subject, with a knife, get shot once. Mm -hmm. uh, made a comment, something to the effect of you're going to have to kill me when the uh, resident fired a second shot that was about the time that the deputies got there from what we can tell that he was coming down the stairway with his second gunshot wound at that point they actually still struggled with the male to take him into custody the sheriff tells me that the suspect has been taken to grady hospital with two gunshot wounds the sheriff's office at this time is not releasing the names of either the suspect or the homeowner they do say that this suspect is connected to a string of crimes including a possible murder outside the state of georgia they are working with law enforcement they say in that area but they won't say exactly where that is at this time. They expect to release more information later about this case. Why was he here? Why this house? Sheriff Babb tells me it appears to be random. He says that the man tried several houses in this upscale neighborhood in Fayette County and decided on that one. But the sheriff says it could have been anybody's house. We'll have more information as it becomes available to us. For now, I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News in Fayette County. Yeah, that's a crazy story. I'm, I like a happy wow. ending, though. There's just a random dog fight going on behind yeah, they're, you. They're, just, <laughs> they're getting mad because this one's getting all the attention. It's because Zena's the best one. <laughs> Z Z yeah. Zena's the You're best the star one. of the show. You know it. <laughs> she is. A uh, teen with angle monitor charged in fatal shooting. See, this is the issue. Why are we letting people out with angle monitors that are violent criminals is my question. I, I don't know anything about this story yet. I just know that we're letting people out who are violent criminals thinking an angle monitor is going to stop them. Angle monitor is not going to do anything. It's just going to prove they're the one that did it. Exactly. Problem is, it's still done. Police say teen was wearing an ankle monitor when he shot and killed a man last month in Soulsville area. Eugene McShane, 18, was charged this. Well, his name was Eugene, so I imagine he got picked on a lot. McShane? McShane. Oh, McShane. I Eugene thought that was an M. I can't read from here. McShane. It H should be an M. Yeah. Um, was charged this week with first degree murder. Police said. On August 21st, dispatchers received a call from someone in the six um, in the six center block of Edith Avenue, who said they had been shot. When officers arrived, they found Jalen Murray in an alley. He later died died at the hospital. Murray's mother told investigators her son had been at a youth build, whatever that is, in the 1100 block of Mississippi right before he was shot. What town are we even in? Memphis. We're in Memphis. According to police, camera footage showed Murray leaving the school that day with five other males. They said staff were able to identify all of the males, males including McShane. <clears throat> what is happening behind you? Oh, she's got a chew toy. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm hearing things while I'm trying to read. It's not my fault. Not this time, honestly. It's, it's on film. We can go back and watch. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, the witness uh, said McShane pointed a black handgun at Murray, fired one to two shots after he fired the shots. Wit the witness said that McShane went through Murray's bag and took a gun. So everybody had a gun, apparently. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to Memphis. Did, have I told you guys about the shopping center I used to manage in Memphis? You probably heard the story. Right. It would constantly, constantly have 
um, roof, bullet, leaks. roof leaks from bullet holes in, in the roof from people just firing a gun in the air. Insane. Insane. You sure they weren't coming out? They, they were going, could they tell they were penetrating and not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The roofers would call me all the time and be like, can we fix these leaks? It's going to cost this much. It's gunshot. It's bullet holes again. Yeah, fix the leaks. Uh, investigators said at the time of the shooting, McShane was wearing a GPS angle monitor that placed him at the same location Murray was located around the time the 911 call was made. McShane is being held without bond. Uh, what did I say about mugshots a minute ago? <laughs> it just makes them look guilty. Uh, no, that's how he looks in real life, <laughs> naturally. It's not the mugshot in this case. <coughs> yeah. I keep forgetting there's a microphone right there, too. All right. Gwinnett County murder su su suspect, suspect also facing criminal street gang charges after body was found in trunk. That'll do it. Yes. <laughs> that will do it. I don't know why, because I've been watching a lot of videos lately, maybe it's a rabbit hole I'm going down, of people who doing something totally flat illegal mm -hmm. get pulled over for something totally stupid. Yeah, like speeding or speeding, having a tail light out or something ridiculous. Running, a, yeah. running the, I came up to the red light and I was sitting there and I just blasted through it and there was an unmarked car that pulled me over. Why'd you pull me over? Why'd you run the red light? Yeah. Well, it didn't turn to green. Why do you have 10 pounds of weed in the truck? Yeah. Or a well, dead body. <laughs> or a dead body or a thousand fentanyl pills. Yeah. Ridiculous. And we begin tonight at 6 with new details about the death of a South Korean woman who came to the U.S. to join a religious group. Gwinnett police now have new warrants for all of the suspects. Is all this Atlanta? Of this one is. The last one was Memphis. Okay. Because the one before it was around here being in a street gang. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Christine Spiro. Four of the six suspects accused of beating and starving the victim to death before stuffing her body in the trunk of a vehicle went before a judge today. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor joins us from the Gwinnett County Jail where, Angelique, most of those suspects are being held. That is right, Christine. Gwinnett police said all along this was an active investigation. And just about two hours ago, they announced these new charges that all six suspects in this horrific case will now face street gang charges. Are you able to afford an attorney or would you like me to appoint you an attorney? We got our first look at the felony murder suspects in court Friday, accused of beating, starving, and then burning the body of a young Korean woman. Police say the victim is in her 20s or 30s and came to this country to join a religious group. Police say three of the suspects are brothers, and the female is a girlfriend to one of the brothers. In a major development, Fox 5 News has learned police believe the victim's injuries are consistent with a religious ritual. The suspects what? have all said they belong to what appears to be an obscure religious group called Soldiers of Christ. But again, Friday, police slapped all six suspects with street gang charges. Okay, this reminds me, remember that? a uh, cult where they all killed themselves and they had Nikes on. They all have like black Nikes with the white swishes on them. And I can't remember. Somebody in the chat will know exactly what I'm talking about. It was like a doomsday cult. I don't remember. This reminds me so much of that. Number two will know what I'm talking about. They all had, uh, they had like purple cloths over them and they all had like, you saw their feet sticking out with the black Nikes with the white swishes on them. You have four felonies. Like they thought they were going to get on the they, they thought they were getting on a tail of a comet or something. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what this reminds me of. Charges. One is tampering with evidence. Uh, the next one is concealing the death of another. The third is felony murder. And the fourth is false imprisonment. All of the suspects appeared very compliant and mannerable in court. They all had oh, yeah. court interpreters. The sixth oh. suspect is a juvenile, just 14 years old. And one suspect is still in the hospital with unrelated injuries. Still neighbors are stunned that police say such violence was going on in the basement of a house in their upscale subdivision. Kind of. Earl wins. That's what it's called. Heaven's Gate. That's the one. That's yeah. the one I was thinking of. Freaking out because the I let my cold. door open all the time. The cars are unlocked all the time. So 
It's kind I'm of sorry, freaky I, I, when you stop, you know, one second and you realize it's next to your house. And another troubling detail, police say when they found that victim's body in the trunk, she only weighed 70 pounds. Ooh, no. Tonight, they are still trying to notify her family in South Korea. We are live in Gwinnett County, Angelique Proctor. Fox That's All horrible. All the details are troubling about this one, Angelique, thanks. Thanks, Angelique. I appreciate the news coverage on that. That's, That's a horrible story. I'm kind of glad they caught him before something like the, the Heaven's Gate thing went down because it seems like it would have went down eventually the way that was headed all right you ready for this one <laughs> you're like what am i doing here <laughs> you're just keeping the dogs calm while i do the show. yeah no you're doing good <laughs> They're taking a break, so I'm, I'm okay. taking a time out, drink some coffee, you watch this by yourself. <clears throat> I, I I can join you in this one. <laughs> okay. Woman arrested for setting fire to a tiger store in an attempt to cover up baby formula theft. I hope there's a um I kind of hope that there's a mugshot in this so we could see if our mugshot theory <laughs> holds up. <laughs> Uh, police have arrested a woman for allegedly setting fire to a target store in Southern California. In what they say was an attempt to cover up the theft of baby formula. Oh, here we go. This is what we really want to see. What on earth? No, not now. No, 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 no. Wow. Yep, mugshot yep. confirmed. Mugshot confirmed. All right, so yeah, load up your cart with baby formula, go over to clothing, the baby section, That's light something on fire, and when the alarms go off, out the door. That's exactly what happened. And you know she probably doesn't even have a baby. She's selling that stuff on the black market. Uh-huh. Definitely. All right, McDonald's poised to end self-serve soda stations Uh to reduce the wait who's, wait i thought the self-service was there so you that we can get free soda who's stealing soda from mcdonald's like are people just going in with their own cup you think and not buying the soda uh i've gone back with a mcdonald's cup and refilled it at the soda machine where i wasn't supposed to because the cup was from three days before why because then it's, you have a mcdonald's cup they but, can't complain because of it's a mcdonald's cup doesn't mcdonald's sell sodas for like a dollar it's like a dollar right this is back in the day when they charged like three dollars how this. much could they possibly yeah but soda itself is like pennies for like yeah. a gallon so how much money could they possibly be losing on soda well it's mcdonald's so one penny is one too many i guess uh mcdonald's announced monday it's uh <laughs> calling time on self-serve soda stations in dining areas across the country uh, with theft cited amongst a list of concerns. I, I would think like sanitary issues would be more of a concern than yeah, theft see, of penny. Anytime I went into McDonald's and they had the self-service, I always get a refill right before I left. Yeah, me too. But that you're allowed to do that, right? I don't think so. Yeah, you I, can. I, I think that I think back in the day, I don't know, right nowadays, I remember that you weren't supposed to. No, you're allowed to. Let me know in the chat if when you when they have the soda machine just out in the dining area, you're allowed to refill it before you leave, right? That's allowed. If not, I'm a horrible <laughs> criminal because every time if I'm at a place where I'm eating and they have the soda wow. machine out there, I don't even drink soda. It's usually I'm Welcome to crime land, true crime show. Yeah, I'm usually getting whatever like the diet lemonade. I don't like the fizzy drinks particularly, but like you're allowed to, right? Yeah, see, the people agree with me. Okay. The people agree you're allowed to refill. McDonald's will be transitioning away from self-service beverage stations and dining rooms across the U.S. by 2032. Okay, <laughs> 2032. Uh, the company confirmed in a statement to Business Insider, this change is initiated to create a 
a cons consistent experience for both customers and crew across ordering points. I think it's just going to make more work for the because if they do still offer free refills, it's just going to create more work Whoa. for those poor souls. You only who get eighty percent on the free refills. Yeah. Twenty twenty percent of the uh, votes right now are saying no refills. It's just insanity I, I, here today. I, I thought you couldn't unless it was advertised free refills that you weren't supposed to go back and get a second one unless it specifically says so. I don't know. I always just. Uh, yeah, 150 waffle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 it's slap weasel. I, 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 I got realistic. I'm almost positive. A thousand for a thousand, I can get Katie Deed another one because she said that <laughs> no, she'd never do it I'm again. I'm saying a thousand dollars, Katie would do it for a thousand. I only need 150. I am almost positive, and correct me if I'm wrong, Waffle Salter, that you are the one that donated the hundred dollars to get me to eat that milk bone the first time. I am almost positive. It is insanity here today. My apologies. Mr. Zed's not home. And I'm dog sitting a dog that doesn't like anybody. He doesn't even like Dave. So definitely doesn't like this guy. Um, I think Leia here just doesn't like men in general. So, sorry, Leia. Sorry, I know there's boys around here. It's horrible. It is horrible. Um, all right. So, there's a big epidemic of people stealing sodas at McDonald's, apparently. Uh, this news brought to you by Katie Z. <laughs> don't, don't refill your drinks at McDonald's, I guess. I don't know. I know. I will tell you though that the best, the best places to get drinks is when they have one of those machines that. <laughs> I got to put this on the screen. I got to put this over here. This is my Rumble chat. My brother's about to eat a milk bone. <laughs> You said it. <laughs> you didn't think it would happen. I'm getting you, even tomorrow. You One said One way it. or another, I'm getting even tomorrow. There you go. Here, you can give some to the dogs too. This is the same one that I had when he when he did that. So you know. Thank you, Waffle Salter. Thank you. There, I'm doing my trick. I'm sitting out. Do you high five? <laughs> Uh, don't forget, if you guys watch over on Rumble, I am monetized on Rumble, and you can donate straight from that chat, just like Waffle Salter did. Done, Waffle Salter. Done. Thank you very much. Mom's going to be very disappointed, by the way. She yelled at me <laughs> when I did it. <laughs> she's, she, she, she's in the car driving home from the theater. <sighs> Thank you that she can't see it. She can only hear it. And I don't know if she knows how to watch it. Oh, you're not putting the replay back up. Take this. It doesn't. Yeah. She won't, she'll never see it. <laughs> Thanks, Waffle Salter. I appreciate you. He did it. I cannot believe. I can't believe you actually did it. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Thank you, Waffle Salter. I appreciate that. It uh, kind of tastes like unsalted Ritz. It's it wasn't bad. It's, it's not that bad. It's not. <laughs> you know, if I was high, actually, if I was high enough, I might enjoy it. Well, I came unprepared for this. Next time I'm on a show, Katie, I'm coming. I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna come ready. Um, you live in Georgia now. That's not allowed. They got a true leave open right down the street. They don't sell flour, but every other product's available. I don't know anything about that because I'm an innocent angel. Oh, mom's in the chat. <laughs> I'm busted. Oops. <laughs> Thank you, Waffle Salter. And I'm glad my mom was here to witness that. She must be so proud of you. <laughs> Everybody, my mom's now in the chat. So <laughs> my brother's uh, choking on milk bones. Um, just remember, yo mama is my mama. So you behave yourself. <laughs> oh, 
taking chords with her. Go, get out of there. Go. Um, that was fun. That was that was fun. Okay. Don't steal soda from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is a story that we covered. I believe we covered the raw footage on this channel before, but now we have the police department making a statement about it. This is that story that um, that guy got out of a car. Like there was somebody being pulled over and some dude pulls up next to them, gets out of the car with a hatchet and tries to attack the cop. And now we have the police department breaking it down for us. The information oh. video and video right. you're about to see are intended to provide details as we currently understand them of an officer involved shooting that occurred around 11 a.m. on June 3rd, 2022. This video may contain graphic images that could be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. This incident occurred on northbound Bond Street, just north of the intersection with McDowell Road on the northwest side of Naperville. A Naperville police officer was conducting a traffic stop when approximately 12 minutes into the stop, an uninvolved vehicle pulls up next to the vehicle the officer has pulled over. A man quickly exits the vehicle and immediately charges at the officer with a hatchet in his hand. In the videos that follow, you'll see that the officer discharges his firearm, striking the subject, and then holds the suspect at gunpoint until backup can arrive to secure him. Both the officer's body-worn and in-car cameras were recording during the June 3rd incident. Again, viewer discretion is advised. Do you guys remember this story when we covered it from, I think it had to be like a month ago or something like that. Let me know in the chat if you remember covering this the first time when all we had was the raw footage. Al, pull cinnamon for this. Yeah, there's a... I'll pull cinnamon. You gotta get some paper. All right, if you can take a picture and send it to me. Who are you, dude? Who are you? Base, I just been attacked. I just shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> it, it is a true crime zone. So this guy had Any nothing to do. Life. That guy that pulled up had nothing to do with the traffic stop. That was. I'm trying to keep the show on the rails. <laughs> had nothing to do with the traffic stop. By the way, he just pulled up out of nowhere, saw a, a police officer standing next to somebody's car, and decided to try to attack him with a hatchet. Did he not understand that police officers carry guns? He thought he'd be tragic. able to stop behind him and catch him from behind. I guess. And our thoughts are with the family of the deceased. I am extremely grateful, however, that neither our officer nor any bystanders were injured or killed as a result of this incident. As you saw, this scene went quickly from a traffic stop for a minor violation to an attack on a police officer by an uninvolved party, demonstrating just how dangerous the job of a police officer is. Well, at least one thing about having people walking up behind you with cameras all the time, you learn how to keep track of people walking up behind you, whether you got a camera or not. So, hey, true it's one benefit. Very true. I mean, it, it seemed like that cop's head was on a swivel for sure. Yeah, so no, he good. was watching what was going on. He knew that yeah. car was slowing down. Yeah. All right, what's this? Oh, 10 shootings across D.C., five people killed. And this is a, just one weekend. Now, we are following a number of deadly shootings across the district spanning from Friday night to early yesterday morning. D.C. police investigating 10 people shot, including five killed. Fox 5's David Kaplan spoke to the mother and father of an 18-year-old victim. It hurts. Like, like I don't know what I'm, like, I'm going No, Colonel right Angus, now. don't bring a hatchet to a gunfight. Oh. Michael Ferguson for, and Ken Yell. That guy in the story before had a knife at a gunfight. Yeah, that's... What are they doing? Chandler shared their names but asked we not show their faces. 
Mykia was the oldest of seven. Her mother tells me she loved her siblings. Her father said she loved school and having a good time. Early Saturday evening, bullet holes still evident on the 1300 block of 7th Street Northwest. Michael Ferguson tells me his daughter, niece, and their friend were sitting on this playground. Neighbors reported hearing dozens of gunshots before midnight. I feel like they ran down and shot and killed my baby for whatever reasons. I don't know. Kenyelle Chandler's pain made worse. I don't think there was a reason. I think it was just a random she drive She was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, we're going to yeah. shoot some people in this apartment complex mm -hmm. over here. You're outside. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I don't think that she was the target at all. I mean, I, I don't know her backstory. I don't know what she was up to in her spare time, but it seems to me that she was just there. Yeah. You know? A random drive by, everybody got shot and she died. She, wrong place, wrong time. But that's what happens when your neighborhood is run a certain way mm -hmm. and certain things go on, certain things go on. Which is why I don't live anywhere near a city anymore. No, you don't. Would it take me about three hours to get here? <laughs> it wasn't that far, but yeah. Daughter, it was just the other side of the mountain. I, I live pretty far up in the middle of nowhere, guys. My ears popped twice getting here. <laughs> I like the mountains, you know, North George is very pretty this time it of is. year. <laughs> this mother hasn't been allowed to see her daughter's body, a chapter of closure mom desperately wants as she continues to grapple with unimaginable grief. They took my baby from me! Oh. I don't know what to do! They took my baby! We did also hear a lot. Of That's heartbreaking to hear. That right there uh, broke my heart just a little bit. Frustration from Ferguson's <sighs> family about the state of violent crime in the district right now. They are hoping for more accountability and more answers to also stop the violence as well. So far this year, compared to last year, violent crime up 39%. According to MPD data, homicides up about 26 percent anyone with any information on any of the shootings last night is urged to reach out to police it's tough to hear but it's important to remember the human cost of all of this violence the investigation is underway meanwhile uh that's horrible a and b the fact that they're trying to defund police in cities like district of columbia makes it even worse because more of this crime is going to be happening the less police there are patrolling the streets. Some of the problem is, not saying in this particular instance, but you'll see somebody gets pulled over and they'll all come running out. Why are you, why can't he have a gun? Why does he need a driver? So, but these are the same people crying when somebody else comes by with no driver's license and starts shooting out the window. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Yeah. This one, this next one's a little bit of a longer one. So I pause it at a point where the good stuff starts happening. This is a. Um, yeah. Up to this point, they're just investigating. There was a bunch of arguing going on and the officers are just investigating. Now it starts getting interesting when they start making arrests. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and volume on. This is a Rhode Island wedding brawl. Anytime there's a brawl at a wedding, I need to see it. Why don't we have volume on this? It comes on in a second. Oh, it comes on in a second. We'll have volume in just a moment. I think we watched this earlier. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Okay, you didn't click something, maybe. No, it's... I got volume. There it is. Okay, okay. there is volume. Yeah, so this is just uh, pushing and shoving. Yeah, a little bit of chaos. Kicking the woman in the red dress, 
kicked and then got shoved to the ground. And is probably surprised she got shoved to the ground. Yeah, too bad there's not another view of this. Yeah. So these are just people who are like dressed up, high heels, suits, the whole nine, just brawling. Uh, wait person. over there. Stop it. Hey, no, your dad said don't I'm telling you, wait oh. over there. Hey, 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 hey. No! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa! Yeah, please. Stop, 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 stop. Are you telling me that's right? Is that normal? Is that normal to do to my wife? Is that normal to do to my wife? Is that normal to do to my wife? She oh, you had us muted. Jump. I was talking the whole time. Yeah, I did. Have okay, I probably look good on camera though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, look where she made contact. So no wonder she got kicked or shoved to the ground. Oh right? no, no, she caught a right hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> This guy's defending his wife after that? Are you serious? That's my effing wife? Your wife just kicked a man in the nuts. What did you think was going to happen to her? What did you think was going to happen? Hey, 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 Oh my god. Yo, Coops, Coops, Coops. He's got the husband holding the wife, and the wife went to the ground. Yeah, he, he did. threw her down by remote. Yeah, he did. Let me rewind that a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Coops, Coops, Coops. Coops, get over here, bro. Oh my god. Kubi, get back. Kubi, get back. Oh, she took a second shot. Third shot right in the nuts. At least she's got good aim. Oh, my. She needs to go oh, to damn. jail. She got knocked out. That woman in the red dress needs to be in jail. She should be this one in the black dress laying on the ground. Wow. I wonder what she did. God. Oh, my God. I think she's just drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She caught a right hook and hit the ground head first. You just fucking knocked her out, bro. You just fucking knocked her out, bro. You just knocked her out. Dude, her head just hit the pavement. Her head just hit the pavement, bro. She went down head first. She's taking a little nap. That's all. I think this needs a little background music. She went for the gun. Oh, the the black dress woman did? She went for his gun. He turned around and knocked. Did you see him securing his gun after he knocked her off? She went for his gun right there. Okay. So, if, so this is the woman we're talking that, about that, right that here. That woman in black with the phone went for with the, the cop's gun. Okay. The cop turned around and knocked her off her gun. What do these people think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Oh, yeah, she did. Yep. Night, night. Yep. All right. You're done. Another view. 
All right, so this is the yep. woman that gets knocked out. Looking at going for the gun. Yank, yeah. Yank, yank. Wow. Crazy. If, if you're hanging off the cop's gun, the cop has the right to knock you off of it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the reason why cops have those holsters that there's a trick to them. Yeah. Yeah. You, they can't, just don't, you can't just pull it out. You can't just pull out. <laughs> you can't just pull it out. Uh, billions of dollars worth of stolen cars from the U.S. and Canada are being shipped to West Africa. Oh, well, yeah, I knew that. This is nothing new. I don't know why there's even a news story about it, but there is. And somebody sent it to me, so we're going to watch it. <laughs> we knew this was happening. In one car, a phone number for the original owner, Leonard. I'm going to phone him. Might be too early for a phone call. Or maybe looking at a number they don't recognize. Hello? Hi, is that Leonard? Yeah. Leonard, this is going to sound like a really weird call. Um, my name is David Common. I'm calling from CBC News. We're doing an investigation into stolen vehicles. And I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in your once stolen vehicle in West Africa. Yeah, I'm in West Africa. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you mind if I FaceTime you? Uh, I don't mind at all. Have you ever had a car stolen? No. We have. Dave and I have. You know his truck yeah. got stolen. Could you imagine getting a phone call like months later saying, hey, I'm in West Africa in your car that you thought was gone forever. Dave's truck yeah. was gone forever. I couldn't even imagine like, how do you even get it back? Like, what do you do? Like, you would have that, to pay to get it shipped that, back to that, you? That'd be a heck of a phone bill. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. There's any more milk bones, this, please? This uh, look like your car? None for me. Then, no more for me. They're all for you. Um, September, October of last year. And what happened? So we were going out that day in the morning. My wife went out to get the car and... Uh, it wasn't in the driveway when we checked the camera, the video from the camera from the ring uh, doorbell. At about three in the morning, you see a car and two guys pull up towards the driveway. And about four minutes later, the light goes off. They're gone. The car's gone from the driveway. Did That's number two ever grow up? In six years. I didn't really. So. She didn't. Not yet, mom. Yeah. Sometimes soon. Probably not the call you expected today, but your ownership is still in the glove box. Um, here's your car. There's a car that still has a New Jersey license plate on it. The car stolen from North York over there. I can't believe it. And, and my documents and everything are still in there. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, they ain't gonna That's clean it crazy. out. Drive it and sell it. I can't even imagine getting that phone call. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I would. I mean, I think Dave's truck was very different and special to him mm -hmm. for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. So I might pay to get it shipped back, even though it would not even it would be more than what the car was worth. Like, oh, yeah. You See, know. you'd be shipping an individual. It wouldn't be on. Yeah, it, but it he, cost a fortune. He bought that truck for himself when he got back from Iraq. Mm -hmm. the first, You know, the first time. Mm -hmm. Um and it had sentimental value. I think it, the the sentimental value would be worth getting it back from North Africa <laughs> or West Africa, wherever they were here. But just if I had like a two thousand, you know, a two thousand seventeen Toyota Tundra or something, I don't think I would pay to get it shipped back. Like the insurance would have already paid. Well, if you had, we didn't have insurance, so we got nothing yeah. for that. So I mean, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't think he's going to see it again. No. But they find that it, it's there would be interesting. Yeah, exactly. So a New Jersey businessman <laughs> drone bombs local swimming pools with dye. Why? I guess we'll find out right now. And now the details. A business owner in Atlantic County facing criminal charges. At least say he used a drone cleaning business. I can see maybe coming up for some business, but yeah, he was he was just goofing. Yep. Going to turn a number of neighborhood pools. Neon Green. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman is live in Apsikin with more on how police were able to track down the drone operator. This quite the bizarre story, Trish. 
Absolutely, Gray. And this is a result of a number of police departments. I mean, it seems kind of like a harmless prank to me. I don't know. I guess I guess it's shutting down the pool for the afternoon or however it long it takes. But draining the water, cleaning the, it's going to clog. It's going to screw up the filters. Yeah. It's working together and police say the motive is unclear. The chief says he's never seen anything like this. He also says there could be more victims out there. Sandra Woolston is the general manager of the Quality Inn in Galloway Township. She noticed something strange happening at the pool back in June, and she knew it wasn't algae. And I, I don't know if you were at the hotel, would you school swimming like, in that? Oh, wow. No. Or would going? you mark that off as so, a bad hotel because the pool's unusable? I mean, I don't know. There's damages. You go lay down. Go lay down. You ter this is a terrorist dog. Ava is a terrorist. Hey, Ava, go lay down. <laughs> We saw a dive pack in the bottom of the pool and we didn't know what it was. They had the pool drained and cleaned, but I almost want to say don't buy them any more milk milk bones because she's being really bad right now. She does not deserve any. Don't right, don't buy them milk bones. Ava's being a horrible, horrible terrorist right now. She said it continued to happen about a dozen times over the course of the summer. Guests were disappointed each time, and it cost the hotel thousands of dollars. The girls are standing here like, oh, my God, we want to go swim. Some of them were crying. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> number two, I said, don't buy the milk bones. You see, number two just threw up on the screen. <laughs> the tiny milk bones. I myself <laughs> cried. I went into my office and I had a meltdown. Meanwhile, an Absecan police got a similar call from a homeowner in August. We had a resident who was enjoying time in his pool and saw a drone flying. I remember top riding on that Mustang. Dropped something in his pool that made his pool turn green immediately. Apparently, refilling a pool costs like $400. To get him to come drain it. He's saying refilling it for refilling it from empty costs four hundred bucks. Is that just like the water bill, Moose, or is that like to have somebody come and chemicals? Oh, chemicals and water for treatment bet. for chlorine and other stuff. Huh. Uh, you know what I have? I have a little pool, like a kiddie pool for the dogs. That's all I have. So I don't know how much that costs to fill. <laughs> The green stuff was sea dye, normally used by search and rescue teams, and it can be damaging to pools. On Friday, police say the drone was spotted over the Quality Inn again, and this time, with help from the FAA, the drone was tracked back to this business across the White Horse Pike. Police arrested the business owner, Patrick Spina. He's now facing multiple counts of criminal mischief. Police think they've just scratched the surface. I would encourage anyone who has had any similar instances throughout the summer if their pool uh, turned a different color to reach out to your local jurisdiction so that we can assist you in, in uh, investigating these incidents. Now we reached out to Spina's attorney today. He had no comment, but he added that his client is cooperating with the investigation. Now the FAA is also investigating here, and they say that drone operators who conduct unsafe operations could face fines of more than thirty thousand dollars. Reporting live in Absecca, New Jersey, Trish Martin, wow. Channel Six Action News. Shari, I thought it was a harmless. Apparently, not a harmless prank. No. Not it, a harmless it's, prank. It's not like dropping food coloring in when you're dropping in the search and rescue die packs. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not. All right, we have a couple of more stories left. So if you do want to get in on that milk bone action, I suggest you do so now. I'm also going to take this opportunity to tell you that this show is brought to you by myself. So <laughs> if you um, would like to support the the channel, the show, um, you can get buy a T-shirt. Uh, you can get a Crime Land T-shirt like he's got on there. You can get a Overrule T-shirt. Um, I should have had this queued up and ready, but you can go to katyz.com. That's ktz.com. Um, and get all of your things. So we have a very nice uh, little accessory pouch. It has Crime Land on one side. It has Overruled on the other side. Um, it's very nice. I actually have one back there on the thing. You probably can't see it. The coffee mugs, obviously, the hats. Okay, so this little magnet, I actually ordered one. If you want a magnet, don't order it yet because I didn't realize how small these were. They're very small. I want to get one that's a little bit bigger because that's very, very tiny. 
I don't have a fanny pack yet, Parsons, but I'll get one. The only ones that I could find on this, uh, you know, this place that I'm using to make merchandise, it ends up being that in order to make any money yeah, at all, we got you got you got to put number two on a shirt. I have number two on a shirt. Yeah, there's a Friday Night Crime with number two. I'll get you it. Number okay. two, just let me get, let me get through my thing, man. Let me get through the whole thing. Um. What was I saying? I was saying something. Anyway, um, yeah. Wait, if you want a refrigerator magnet, give it a second. Get, let me let me read you. I, I'm not satisfied with that. Uh, what I am satisfied with is the Xena merchandise. I created this design myself. True crime with Xena, featuring Katie Zed, because we all know the draw to this show is Xena, not me. So we have some some Xena merchandise there. Uh, you can get a dog bowl, which also I really, I think it costs too much. You you have to really want one. <laughs> like it's, and I'm selling this for basically at cost uh, and it's $30, which is a little ridiculous, but somebody asked for a dog bowl. So I made a dog bowl. There it is. Um, I think I get like $5 of that or something like that. There's sweatshirts, there's tank tops. And of course, the Friday night crime t-shirt. With Katie Zed at number two. Everyone needs one of those. We have all of the t-shirts and all of the different colors. <clears throat> this one here is my favorite. The uh, Xena shirt in the yellow. Corn silk it's called. That's my favorite shirt right there. I actually got myself one. I wear it all the time. It's very soft. I love it. You might love it too. Coming up for the holidays, I have some Christmas ornaments. The overruled Christmas ornaments. They have a little tiny magnet on the back, too, so you could use it as a refrigerator magnet. Oh, once again, this show is brought to you by me because nobody will sponsor this crap. So if you want to get some merchandise, go to katiezed.com. Use discount code Xena10 for 10% off in the whole month of September. I might let that go on through October as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but right now, discount code Xena10. Maybe we'll make a new code for. October. 10% off. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled. Oh, and if you want to do a, uh, buy me a coffee, you will buy the dogs a milk bone. They don't deserve it. Do you hear them causing a ruckus right now? They definitely don't deserve it. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Definitely not. All right. Stupid rapper is arrested for 2021 murder after releasing a rap song bragging about <laughs> the murder in detail. If you listen to some of the lyrics in some of these rap songs, though, it's right the <laughs> IQ level would, yeah, you do something like that. Yeah, exactly. Well, police say the suspect in a 2021 deadly Henderson shooting allegedly confessed to the killing in a rap song. Police have arrested 25-year-old Ken Juan McDaniel last week for a shooting that left one man dead in September. Can we talk about the mugshots again? This guy's mugshot looks like so criminal to me. He's got his eyes half closed. You know, I don't know. They, I, they do that on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. They, I don't know. They could make him look so much better. ...of 2021. Authorities say the victim got into an argument with McDaniel before the shooting happened at an apartment complex. It all unfolded near Lake Mead and Jones. Police now say that McDaniel posted a music video in July to his YouTube channel with lyrics allegedly taking credit for that shooting. On Detectives YouTube. Detectives say those lyrics include... Hmm? On YouTube. It wasn't even a real rapper. It was in a YouTube rap. Well, I mean, there's real rappers that are like SoundCloud rappers and stuff. I mean, we're going to hear a SoundCloud rapper in my outro song right now that I think is a very good rapper, like here in a minute, but whatever. Clear details <laughs> that were never released to the public. McDaniel is due in court tomorrow. I kind of wish I would have. Well, please say the suspect the in a 2021 death. We don't have the song. All right. I think this is going to be the last thing. We might have one more. It depends on how you're feeling if you're ready to. This one's pretty long. Um, it's looking interesting already. But I did pull this up because it is a sovereign citizen and your channel, which we should plug right now, by the way, News Now Enemy, you cover stuff like this. I cover stuff like this. I cover, I like pointing at stupid and laughing. It really doesn't matter what you're doing stupid. I'll film it and laugh at it. Or if you film it, I'll steal it and laugh at it. 
Um, Nothing safe on the internet with me, just to I, let you know. If you're looking for my brother, News Now Enemy, uh, his link is down below in the description. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Why wouldn't you? What did you do? You They closed my page. So how did you <laughs> find the page? I had the link set up. And Don't buy them any milk bones. They just shut <laughs> they, his computer down. <laughs> Don't buy, don't do it. <laughs> Guys, today we head to Georgia for a video where a sovereign citizen who can't even figure out how to upload videos to YouTube the right way attempts the script on a no nonsense Walton County Sheriff's Deputy, which leads to one of the most epic window removals I've ever seen in nearly six years on YouTube. Right, let's get into the video. This officer first. No, no, no. Shh. Okay, so, <sighs> Officer, what's your name and badge number, please? Say it's Bowling. I can't see it because your walkie-talkie's in the way. Bowling. Uh, what's your first name and last name? Don't have to tell you that. Don't have to tell you that. This is going to result in a complaint. Go um, right ahead, bro. So, I'm asking what I need for to... your driver's license and proof of insurance. Could I have your car, please? Say again? Could I have your employee car? He didn't even turn off the radio. Good trade talk. cards. Trade cards. He wants your card. You want his card. Trade cards. That's yeah. how you do that. But I mean, the fact, like, I imagine you've gotten pulled over before. Once or twice. Okay. I've gotten pulled over a I, couple of times as well. The first thing I do is turn off my radio. Yeah. That way you can record. You can hear what the officer's well, saying about it. I mean, I've never recorded the officer, but. Oh, see, I handle it differently. Um, I am very good at getting warnings and getting up tickets. Oh, I'm great at getting warnings too. It's, it's my, just my to make, you want to make fun of later. <laughs> yeah. No, you may not. I need your Why driver's not? license and proof of insurance. Okay, if I can't have your, um, if I can't have that, could I, uh, could you get in contact with your supervisor, Listen, please? So there's the obligatory request for a supervisor, which the deputy rightfully ignores because, well, backup is already on its way. So now he starts to recite a few of those well debunked and cherry picked cases, which I'm just going to fast forward through because we've heard them all a thousand times before. That, that was pretty good over there since nothing's technically gone wrong. You have to destroy the side. <laughs> you have to have some tech issue. <laughs> My mic is just completely disconnected from the desk. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's what just happened. <laughs> and you better knock on wood when you say no technical issues have happened yet because there's still time well, left in well, the show. Not on, not on, not on your computer. <laughs> they, we got the tech issues, but I got them covered over here so yeah, it doesn't affect Ava anything. Ava did that. She's bad. She's a terrorist. Ava turned off your computer. <laughs> Public highways of the state. Every citizen has full freedom to travel from place to place in the enjoyment of life and liberty. People versus Nuthouse. House. This is 147 Colorado. No state government entity has the power to allow or deny passage on the highways, byways, nor waterways transporting his vehicles and personal property for either rec recreation or business, but by being subject only to local re regulations, safety, caution, traffic lights, speeds, speed limits. Travel is not a privilege requiring licensing, vehicle registration, or forced insurances. I need your driver's Further. License. Further, the term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn or drawn by mechanical power and or used for commercial purposes on the highways. The term used for commercial purposes means the carriage. In, 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 in a particular statute, that is how it's defined. It says, in other statutes, it's defined differently. You do know that words can have different definitions in, and different meanings. In every statute, it says and or for commercial purposes and or and or means whether you're using it for commercial or not mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what that means <laughs> of persons or, or, or property of any fair fee rate charge or other consideration or directly or, or indirectly in connection with any business or automobile for hire as a motor vehicle other than an, an automobile stage used for transportation of persons for which remuneration is received hey, this is a private automobile sir this is why i don't have tax registration in fact I've already gone through this and a had my actual plate stolen by an officer. So I'm already dealing with a situation like this and I would like to preserve your employment. Yeah. I'm trying to allow you to do the right thing here. I'm trying oh, to help I, you. I I'm you. Does he have a trifold? No, he's reading something out of his phone and it looks like he has a joint in his other hand. But I, I think that's a, a stylist. A, okay. like a, it could be. Like, you know, one of these things. Oh, okay. See, I don't have one of these fancy of phones. Them. I don't know. I don't have all the your toys. I got to use my finger, and it usually, I guess, <laughs> when I lick it, it works worse. <laughs> I just have, I just have the fancy phone because I do graphic design, and it's easier to do with the thing than it is with my finger. 
I'm writing you a citation. I'm tr it doesn't, I don't understand the problem. But you're detaining me right now. So just remember that he could still drive away from this stop at this point, but as you can see, his arrogance and delusional view of the law and unwillingness to listen to and interrupt is just too overwhelming. You're detaining me? I'm going to read, I'm going to read, I'm going to read Title 18 for you. Because you need to know this, because I want you to be on the side of the people. I want you to be on our side. I want you to do the right thing. No rights are being violated. They are being, they are. Based on what I just told you? Based on what I've just told you, he says, well, I would get myself another base if I were you, because the one you're on lacks foundation, and here's backup to prove it. Based but, on what I just told you, you are violating my right because that was constitution. Not that was constitutional right law. That was I have one law. question for this guy. All right. Who said court is in session? Why are we defending it here? Do you see somebody with a robe on anywhere? Because I, I, maybe you should turn the camera because I didn't exactly see him. Exactly my point. Why are we talking about this on the side of the road? You say, no, you're wrong. You take it to get, take it to go. I've, I've gotten pulled over and I've actually gotten nailed with worse than what I got stopped for. And I showed up in the court and my lawyer said, shouldn't have stopped them. The judge said, shouldn't have stopped them. Everything else thrown out. And a week later, I got pulled over again because they knew to look for it. But that's besides the point. But yep. yeah, that got thrown out. Not on the side of the road. I could have argued all day long. You can't do that here. But instead, I went in. My lawyer said, can't do that. I said yes. And I was gone in two minutes. Exactly. Real quick, I want to say hello to Ryan the Gamer, 395 over on YouTube, and also Katie Nickus. Nickus? Nix? Nix with two S's over on Rumble. Good to see you. I like to see new faces here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here every Sunday at 430 Eastern. I am not. She's here. I am not. I'm, I'm, I'm just Bye. visiting. The star is over here. I'm taking the star seat <laughs> right now. And then Katie's, the backup is over here. Yeah. I'm, I'm just visiting. By we, I mean me and my dogs. <laughs> Who are being little terrorists right now, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do? You can I am not. Driver's license. I am not obstructing. I am not obstructing anything. I'll show you my driver's license. If although, 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 I know I, for no, a fact. Stop talking. I need it now. One moment. I'm going to. I'm going to look up this law because we're going to be patient. I'm going to look up a new I'm law. Ready. Hang on. I'm not ready yet. Like, sir, let me get more. I got to look up something new. Please don't smash my window. You're breaking. They're about to smash his window. He, he's on the other side. He doesn't have a robe either. And I saw the pan of the whole vehicle. There's no judge here. The law. Do not do that. Listen to me. One moment. Exit the vehicle Sir, excuse right me. Now, could you, could you call your supervisor, please? Out. Could you call your supervisor, please? We're past that. I have no contract with you. It. Please don't do that. We're please past don't do that. We're not past anything because I haven't committed a crime. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Why are you trying to ruin my life, says the guy who has just managed to turn a ticket for no registration into this impressive spectacle. Not many people can pull this off, so well done. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Do not damage my property. 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 Unlock your truck. You are out. not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Really you are not the law. You're under arrest. You are Please not the law. No, he's enforcing the law, you dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little upset with this guy. He gets to you because it's the same thing. Do not damage. Doesn't matter what they say. Do not damage my property. Then open it. Get out of the car then. Listen, you are breaking the law. You, you are two, breaking you the law. Seconds. Call your supervisor, please. No, I don't have no, Sir, please call your supervisor. Your yes, you do. I'm, wait for it. Do I'm going to record this live on YouTube Ready? right now. What the fuck? Show me your Safe fucking hand. Safe play replace. He looks surprised. He died. He looks surprised. They've told him eight times we're about to break your win. We're about to break your window. He knew it was going to happen. He didn't think it would be that quick. <laughs> And he opened his mouth so the glass would right in, I've got to rewind it a little bit. Don't yell the when you're breaking your window. Went right into his mouth. <laughs> Why? Please call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I do not have to do that. I'm going to record this live on YouTube right now. What the fuck? Show me your fucking hands. What the fuck? Show me your fucking hands. What are you doing to me? Explain this shit to you. Shit to you. Okay, that was one of the best window busts and reactions to a window bust I think I've ever seen in the six years I've been doing this. 
I said earlier that he could still drive away from this, but I take that back. This was always going to end this way. He made that happen by continually refusing lawful orders to yep. identify and step out of the vehicle. So I've got absolutely no sympathy for him whatsoever. Enjoy finding glass everywhere for the foreseeable future. Show me, get out! What are you doing to me? Right we now. told you, you're under arrest. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? They're pulling him out of his car, and his first thought is to grab his phone and keep recording. That's where his brain is at. He's worried about getting that content, <laughs> not about what's happening to his life right now. What are you doing? Stop you're breaking the law. Stop. You're breaking the law. Stop. You're breaking the law. Get out. I have a gun right here. Stop. I have a gun right here. Stop. I have a gun right here. Stop. Please. Come on. What are you doing? Right now, you're going to get tased. Hands up. I'm not Is he yelling, I have a gun right here? Stop. Yeah. That's no, you don't know. No, no, no. no At don't, least no. he's letting the officers know I, I do have a gun. Yeah, this is true, but you don't, that's not a reason but, for them to stop doing what they're doing. You don't tell them, I got a gun, you better stop. Otherwise, he needs to say, I have a gun right here. I'm not reaching for it. I'm going to get out of the car. That's another reason get to a, get out of the car. You can take it. Yeah, exactly. I'm not Grab going to hand it to you. Ground. Grab on it the right there. Please Go stop. Please stop. Please stop this. 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 Do anything. You're going to get paid. I don't know how many other times I had to explain this to you. I didn't break any laws. I tell you, we got to show that one where the guy got tased by two different cops at the same time. You find it. You're under arrest. Why are you doing Please get my phone. Please get my phone. Please get my phone. Your phone will be grabbed in a phone. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. I think that might be A nine seven four five four. That was really a good window break, by the way. I enjoyed it a lot. There, send that to yourself. You say they don't teach you this in the academy. Um, he has a bunch of swords back here. Well, one looks wooden. The other may also be. Yeah, they might. Yeah, they're foam. I'm crazy. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, which I'm pretty certain you did, and you want to see more like this, especially this guy's next traffic stop, where he stupidly baits the wrong Georgia cop again by driving past him without plates while using his cell phone, leading to yet another epic arrest, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Okay. My my brother here just sent me another video. All right, this will be the last one, guys. I think that's the wrong one. It's this one. Yeah. All right, this is from Body Cam Raw, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Cheddar head, he's got Swiss in the brain. What's that? He's instead of a cheddar head, he's got Swiss for brains. Swiss, Swiss for brains? There's holes in it. June 23rd, 2023, Menominee, Wisconsin. An officer observed a vehicle fail to come to a stop at a flashing red light. The officer attempted a traffic stop, but the vehicle like continued I was saying, driving run a red light in front of a cop and then have a reason to run. Yeah, when it's flashing, you have to stop and then get you. Treat well, that it one's like yellow. The yellow one was red. He went right through the red, treated it like a yellow. Oh, yeah. A, a, a flashing red is a stop sign, a flashing yellow is a yield sign. Dummy. 700 block of Main Street East with Wisconsin Adam Edward Henry, 1571 Adam Edward Henry. Female cops. Am I right? That's all. 1571, we are still. Um, <laughs> Just yeah. wait and watch it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll give her a chance. I will give her a chance. Continuing to 9th Street. It looks like we'll be going south.
Now, something like this would make me nervous because we're just north turn on 11th right, Street. Turn left, turn right, turn right. Passengers waving his hand out the window. Yeah. Are you going we're somewhere? To go somewhere now. People are about to run out of it. Exactly. Who knows what's happening right now? There's literally about to be a brawl behind us. <laughs> oh. Ava grab <laughs> by the collar and was just dragging yep. her around saying, we're going this way now. And Zena jumps in to break it up. <laughs> yep. There's a brawl. We have come to a stop on at on. We have come to a stop. Eleventh Street <laughs> at Main, occupied times two. Police department, turn the car off. Okay, he turns the car off. Take the keys out of the ignition. And changes his mind. I would have such a problem with this because my car is one of those button start ones. Mm -hmm. And they'd want me to take the keys out of the ignition, which is not how you turn my car off. And then you want me to drop the keys out the window. But I'd have to dig to the bottom of my purse somewhere to find the keys because I never know where my keys are at. I really don't. They're just in the, they're down there somewhere with the loose change and the lint. I got I had an old set of keys you can keep in your ashtray. Oh, they don't have ashtrays anymore to no. keep. I say just throw a random set out the window and when yeah. you go clunk, say yeah, that's the best I can do. Drop the keys out of the like just take my whole purse. I don't they're in there somewhere. I know because my car started. Turn the car off. They're taking off northbound. This is one of the shortest police cases. Officer. Oh. 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 I want to watch it again. I want to see it again. That was so good. On 11th Street at Main. Occupied times two. Forward a little bit. All right, here we go. Turn here we go. the car off! He's about to They're get taking it. off northbound. Oh, get him! Oh, oh, get him! <laughs> And he tried to run. Stop! Stop! Stop right now! You get the fuck back here! I got one running on oh, me! This, this get back here, asshole! Stop! You need to go crazy at it with this one. Stop right fucking now! Just gonna turn her down a little bit. She's a little loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One twenty one headquarters taser deployed. There's the car upside down. This is one thirty in the morning. Imagine just living in this house, just living your life in this house right here, just, just minding your own business, asleep probably. Not anymore. Or, or, or laying in your bed watching YouTube shorts for way too long when you're supposed to be at work at seven o'clock in the morning. That's usually what I'm up to at 1 a.m. <laughs> Katie said for News Now NME. <laughs> Stay right where you fucking are. Stay right. Get down. Get down. After being tased, he got up a second time. Wow. Get on your fucking stomach, asshole. Get on your stomach. He really has a Wisconsin shirt on or something about beer and cheese, doesn't he? It is so Wisconsin. 
This is the most Wisconsin <laughs> video I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Is anybody with them? Go. Are you serious? Put your hands behind your back, you piece of shit. Oh. Save them again. Get your fucking hands behind your back now. Yeah, you are gonna get fucking lit up. Put your hands behind your back. I agree. She did catch him though. Yeah, so she, did, she did catch him. She got him, but she seems very frazzled right now, doesn't she? <laughs> Put your fucking hand behind your back. He's still oh. fighting him. Stop resisting! Put it behind That's your back! Crazy. I hear it. No. Put it behind your back! Stop, please stop. Put it behind stop. your back! Got it. If he's able to say please stop, I don't think it's got both uh, things connected, both little because it depends on where it connected because if it hits your leg it's only going to be muscle spasm in between the contacts oh yeah maybe you're going to feel it but that's words we have taser deployments we have taser no, deployment a lot we have a lot of taser lots and lots of taser deployments he, he's got four probes in them right now two from each of them yeah <laughs> Please stop talking. We're gonna need him at the scene. We just stay right there. Alright. He continues Heather, for the next I'll stay with him. Why don't you go direct him? to roll over and get up closer and closer and closer to being able to run again with four probes in him. The officer holding handcuffed. both tasers in handcuffs and is thinking he's going to get somewhere. Like what did I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what this guy has on him or what he did. Is this just a, to, like, you just, don't do this if you just ran a red light, right? No, he, he was drunk and ran a red light and that, that was drunk it. Drunk driving, that's it? Drunk driving, ran a red light, took off. Wow. Oh, I'm going to get him. Over yep, yep, I got it. Is that on my back? You just stay right here. There you go. Oh. Right there. Please throw up. Go ahead, throw up, man. Uh, You're going to throw up right here in this spot. Oh, Katie Nix knows where that is. You just stay right here. Yeah. You're still connected to the taser, so if you try to do anything yeah, fucking gonna, stupid, I'm going to zap your ass again. Please, you understand me? Please turn over, okay. You're fine right here. Please let me turn over. Turn over. You're not turning over on your back because if you throw up, you're going to choke on your shit. I mean, I know, but can I just sit up? No. Up? You can stay right here. I'm, can I just sit like this? That's it. I'm not you're not going to sit on your back because if you throw up, you're going to fucking choke on it. Can I just sit on my side like this? So that's it. I'm all, just all I'm asking. Fine. He's doing an awful lot of negotiating for somebody yeah. who just took out a cop car, by the way. Mm hmm uh, that flipped upside down, ran from the cops, uh, had the woman cop all frazzled. <laughs> I don't know now if that's necessarily a crime. He's but... asking for favors. <laughs> See, this isn't good enough now. Stay we right go there, because if you get up, I swear to God, I will tase the shit out of you again. I'm going to sit on my knees. That's a... No, you just stare just like that. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm just no. Gonna... you're not in fucking charge. You fucking listen. Do you can understand I, can, me? Yeah, can... No. No! Please, sir, can no! I, can I just... You stay just sit, like that! Can I sit face down? No. Face stay down. right there. Just like that. But like this. You were already in this... Bes <laughs> fucking stay no, down. No. 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 Then throw up just like that. You put yourself in this fucking spot. You want to throw up? You fucking throw up like that. I'm tired of playing games with you. Okay. You want to do something stupid? You're going to get fucking tased again. <sighs> No, you're not. Just, just no. to get up. I don't did know what... he just say I just want to sit on my face? He did. I just want to sit on my face. Well, he's got his pants down already. He's like, ready for it. What the heck? Part you don't fucking understand. He's slightly intoxicated. I don't know which one is which. 
I don't know which one's which. He's got a bunch of tasers in him. <laughs> one of them is mine, one, one of them is yours. Right here. Okay. I'm sorry, baby. I don't know where mine is. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay? I am. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah. I didn't see you down there, and I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. What's that? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, well, you got to find this other probe here first. There's a giant <laughs> probes in the sky. They can't even find them all. <laughs> Well, we have like the the local police and the sheriffs there now. All sorts of tasers. Did, did he run away or what's the fuck? You you you, right you ran from me. <laughs> Was he just trying to pretend that he's not the one that just ran away? Did, did he's like, did he run away? Yeah, yeah, yeah you the, did. You yeah, ran you're away. The, you're the driver. He, oh. He's trying to play. He was the passenger. He's so drunk he forgot oh, who was driving. Wow. Four. 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 You're really okay? Yeah. Did you see your car? What's that? Did you see your car? Oh yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I, I knew I was going to egress like that. Oh, I was never, I've I never been that scared in I my entire life. Like, I didn't even see him at all. <sighs> Front of the car. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going to search him quick. Stay right here. Hey, who's our driver? Him. I watch him get out of the car and run. And that That's the one I wanted. The driver they always was after the driver. As a 24 yeah. year old male named Adam. It's a bunch of his property in the back. Half step back. Half step back. You hurt? No. You need medical? Uh, my chest hurts. Your chest hurts? Is that yeah, from the lack of running just, ability? No. It was, <laughs> like, Is that because you're out of shape? <laughs> Chubby? <laughs> Too much cheese? Getting hit. Getting hit? Yeah. That's okay. It. That's All right. Off. We'll take photos when we get to the jail then. Yeah, I haven't watched this whole thing. I don't know if there's anything else to this. I just saw that one part from the car. Did you say his name was? I'm just, there was no stopping it. Hey, you good? Everyone safe, okay? Yeah, it was scary as hell. Oh my gosh. You good? Yep. I've <laughs> never been more scared in my life watching that happen. Really? Second week or third? <laughs> Pass He's passenger a, operator. Passenger, they were the only two I saw in the car when I was first walking up to it. He was the one waving his hand out the window. Yeah, he, well, cause, cause, so what happened was he was saying that he was trying to wave him like because he, he told us there's always buddy stopped so he, like waved it down so like you know like hey like we we know what's going on. He said his buddy doesn't know why he did what he did but he admitted that his buddy was way more drunk than he was. He wanted to drive. I told his buddy he didn't want to drive, and he decided to drive down the way. So I'm guessing he didn't want to stop because he knew he was drunk. That was all just DUI. Just for a DUI. He almost killed an officer and for a DUI. He just went right through that stop sign and then did Almost this. gave this woman cop a heart attack. And almost uh, I, killed the other I, I, one. I don't know if she's going to be able to get over it. No, this is going to be years of therapy at least. She's definitely going to be out on medical leave for therapy for this. Just an explosion. That's Ben's. Yeah, did you see that thing? All the She's air, been on the force for the 16 hours. Up in it. <laughs> Slap weasel, where are you? Oh, wait, that doesn't say hours. Though. I can't read it. I need new glasses. 16 years. So, Stace writing the crash. Got five letters. Hey, sir. Wow. Wow. All right, I might be a little frazzled. If I saw my partner's car flip like that, 
Um, but I've never been more more scared in my life. And you're a cop. That seems a little. And plus, didn't the dude that was in this car walk up and say he was fine already? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm good. It, wait, he, he. There were four probes. Two came from you. Two came from the guy who had the upside down car. Yeah. So he was, he, he was good enough to get the probes in him from the taser and zap him a couple more times. He, he got it out. You know what? You knock me over in my car and I get to tase you, I will be even. I could see being a little shaken up after seeing my partner's car like that. But once you know he's fine and walking around. And tasing people. Yeah. Hey, sir. Uh, long story short is Heather tried to stop a car. Uh, Heather got it to finally stop after it rolled a couple blocks. She got out gunpoint, told him to turn the car off, take the keys out. The guy turned the car off and then turned the car back on and bolted. And when he bolted, he hit Ben and Ben's vehicle flipped over. Poor Ben. Ben got <laughs> Ben. Yeah. This poor lady standing on our front porch right here was just minding her own business mm -hmm. at 1.30 in the morning. It's not one forty. The car could have ended up on the porch, so yeah. she, could, she has something to stand there and watch from. Her tree, it looks like that she tree, just that tree. That tree is not doing good. Yeah, she planted that last year. <laughs> yeah, um, very disappointing. It's not going to make it. Yeah, so it's sitting on its roof right now on the eleven hundred block of uh, Main Street East. Adam was taken to the hospital where a legal blood draw was conducted, and he was medically cleared for jail. Hey, what's the deal with that? I have no idea. Okay. You belted in, all right? No. He seems to have sobered up a little bit. It is the next day. Yeah. All right. So that's the show for tonight, guys. What do you think? Did you like it? Do you like having. Um, no, that number two, they kept him in the hospital long enough that he wasn't going to puke anymore. So. Yes. Yeah. They gave him some anti -nausea. That's why he He's has the hospital gown on because he did puke all over himself. Probably. Probably. Um, so we're back next week. Um, well, first of all, if uh, just the rule is always, if you do buy a milk bone while I'm not on air, first thing next week, they get their milk bone on air. Um, so you can always do that. The little QR code's up there at the, at the top. It's buymeacoffee.com slash KDZ. Uh, go to the merch shop, kdz.com. Use discount code Xena10 for 10% off. Next week, next uh, Sunday, 4.30 Eastern, uh, we're covering the Meredith Emerson case. That is a case that took place right here in Georgia uh, that her death ended up catching a serial killer. So by the, you know, he, she put up such a good fight that he got caught and then they connected to him to a bunch of other crimes. So I'm going to cover that here next week. Let me know in the comments down below if you like having my brother here. You live here now full time. You're not in Florida anymore. Uh, for a while. For well, a while. Your mama is having a amputation. An amputation. She's having a knee replacement, not an amputation. <laughs> well, don't they, there's that where they cut the leg in two different places and put something in between? <laughs> My mom's they amputated and put it back on, right? She's not having an amputation. She's <laughs> having a knee replacement. <laughs> There's a difference there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know And that. they're saying they're going to have to do the second one. So I'll yeah. probably get that case. I'm probably just going to stay up here. Yeah. So, so I'll be here for a while and I might even stay in town. Yeah. Let me know if you like having a mom. We might have them on again before you, you know, sometime in the future. Anyway, see you guys next week here, 430 Eastern. Um, and, and number two, we know you're the shit, and I'm just a turd. That's besides the point. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. See you next week. Bye.
for new drills, needed a new track of land. I used to dig the Simpsons, man. Bumping Biggie Pop, Smash Mouth, and Simple Plan. No scrubs for the grease in my pimples, damn. From the soft streets of Southeast Michigan. Hit and shuffle till I settled on a different jam. And when a dime won't do a better nickel can. And let me tell you when I used to dig them Simpsons, man. A funny thing about time, you can't get it back A tight grip, but it rips the jacket Slightless, but the mix of traffic You see about me, like Mr. Glass Always wished I was a wizard graphics Take me back to the past, where the hits were massive You can hear Gladys Knight and the pips on plastic Misfit molasses, delete my contacts Just so I can stick to glasses Feel that skipped out, so I miss the classics Aristotle of the bottle, Seneca of the simple action Senator of the simple maxim I swear for a Skillful Saxon, I'm still relaxing. Who wanna take a dip in the mind sauce? Making up for the time loss. Forgetting all my passwords when I sign off. Prime bribe, prime rib, Agent Smith, prime boss. Popping red pills to my mind's off, mind's off. Hernando de Soto Threw up that blue pill Moved to a new track I slew the foothills Of that voodoo sap Micro beach tape decks I'll sift through that Cause I'll do anything To get the old Simpsons back Give me the news To make my mood react I'll swim through the sewer Just to make it To the truth intact And you can shine up That voodoo with new shellac I'll still do anything To get the old Simpsons back But back Imagine thinking Karl Marx is new school Klingon like Kuzu. They welcome the ways they can bring on the boots, dude. Declare a major, they get paid to pollute you. Self-ashamed neighbors never gaze when they scoop you. I wonder how we fight it. The sixth step is never enter in my tent uninvited. The fifth step is produce, no skills is no use. Fourth step, community preference is unity. Third step is nation, it's somewhat location. Mostly relations, that's the situation. Next step, family, patriarchal sanity. Safe under the canopy, ain't a place for anarchy First step, I just got to say it, no showboat Step back and soak up the logo, ah. First floor to man First Florida man was Hernando de Soto. First Florida man, first Florida man was.